A clash of Titans Croatia and Portugal Lockhorns. The energy crackled in the stadium as two European giants, Croatia and Portugal, prepared to collide. The atmosphere was electric, with fans from both nations filling the stands, their faces painted in national colors, waving flags, and chanting anthems. The anticipation was palpable, as everyone knew they were about to witness a football spectacle. The stakes? UEFA Nations League glory. This wasn't just any match, it was a battle for supremacy in one of the most prestigious tournaments in European football. The UEFA Nations League trophy gleamed under the stadium lights, a symbol of the hard-fought battles and the dreams of every player on the field. Both teams boasted incredible talent, from the veteran leadership of Modric to the sheer firepower of Ronaldo. Luka Modric, with his impeccable vision and passing, was the heartbeat of the Croatian team, orchestrating play with finesse. On the other side, Cristiano Ronaldo, a living legend, was ready to unleash his goal-scoring prowess, his eyes set on adding another accolade to his illustrious career. This match promised tactical battles, moments of individual brilliance, and enough drama to keep fans on the edge of their seats. Coaches had meticulously planned their strategies, knowing that one small mistake could be the difference between victory and defeat. The players, well aware of the stakes, were ready to give their all, showcasing their skills and determination. But before the fireworks began, one question loomed large. Could Croatia, the wily veterans, overcome Portugal's attacking flair? The Croatian team, known for their resilience and tactical discipline, faced a formidable challenge in Portugal's dynamic and aggressive style of play. As the referee's whistle blew, signaling the start of the match, the world watched with bated breath, eager to see which titan would emerge victorious in this epic showdown. The calm before the storm, can Croatia handle Ronaldo? The opening minutes were a chess match. Croatia, in their iconic checkerboard jerseys, pressed high, while Portugal, led by the legendary Cristiano Ronaldo, waited for their chance to counter. All eyes were on Ronaldo. Could the Croatian defense, marshaled by the experienced Lovren, contain his explosive speed and clinical finishing? The answer came soon enough, but not in the way many expected. Goal! Perisic ignites the checkerboard army! A swift Croatian counterattack in the 23rd minute caught Portugal off guard. The ball fell to Ivan Perisic, Croatia's talismanic winger, on the edge of the box. He unleashed a rocket of a shot that flew past Rui Patricio in the Portuguese goal. The stadium erupted. Croatia won, Portugal zero. But this was just the beginning. Could Portugal, with their backs against the wall, find a way back into the match? Can Portugal respond? Will Ronaldo remain silent? The goal ignited a fire under Portugal. They poured forward in waves, desperate for an equalizer. Ronaldo, always a threat, was tightly marked by the Croatian defense. Every touch was a battle. Would Ronaldo be kept quiet all night, or would he find a way to add to his legendary goal tally? Section 5. Ronaldo Answers. The anticipation was electric as fans around the world held their breath. The stage was set for a dramatic turn of events. But was it all him? The question lingered in the air, casting a shadow over the moment. Ronaldo, known for his incredible skill and determination, was at the center of it all. Just before halftime, Portugal struck back. The team, driven by a collective will to succeed, pushed forward with relentless energy. Their coordinated attacks and strategic plays were a sight to behold. A long ball into the box caused chaos in the Croatian defense. The defenders scrambled to clear the ball, but the pressure from the Portuguese attackers was overwhelming. The tension in the stadium was palpable as the ball bounced unpredictably. Ronaldo, always alert, pounced on a loose ball and bundled it over the line. Goal, one to one. The crowd erupted in cheers and Ronaldo's teammates rushed to celebrate with him. It was a moment of pure elation, a testament to his quick thinking and impeccable timing. The Portuguese celebrations were cut short as the referee signaled for VR. Was Ronaldo offside? The question loomed large and the atmosphere grew tense. Fans and players alike watched the screen with bated breath, waiting for the decision that could change the course of the game. Did the ball go in off his arm? The replays showed a flurry of activity and the officials scrutinized every angle. The debate was intense with opinions divided on whether the goal should stand. After an agonizing wait, the goal stood. The relief was palpable and the Portuguese players celebrated with renewed vigor. The decision had gone their way, and the game was back on level terms. 
The teams headed into halftime level, but the tension was palpable. Both sides knew that the second half would be crucial. The players walked off the field, their faces etched with determination and focus. The fans too were on edge, eagerly anticipating the next chapter in this thrilling encounter. A section six, second half fireworks. Will either side find a winner? The second half began with both teams pushing for a winner. The tension was palpable as the players took their positions, each side knowing that a single goal could be the difference between victory and defeat. The crowd was on the edge of their seats, anticipating the drama that was about to unfold. Croatia, with their passing game in full flow, created several chances. Their midfielders orchestrated the play with finesse, threading the ball through tight spaces and setting up their forwards for potential goals. The Croatian fans roared with every near miss, their hopes rising with each attack. But Rui Patricio in the Portuguese goal was in inspired form. He made save after save, diving acrobatically to keep his team in the game. His performance was nothing short of heroic, and his teammates rallied around his energy, determined to find a breakthrough. At the other end, Ronaldo continued to be a menace. His dribbling skills left defenders in his wake, and his powerful shots tested the Croatian goalkeeper time and again. The minutes ticked by, each one filled with heart-stopping action and near misses. Would this match be decided by a moment of magic, a defensive error, or perhaps a stroke of luck? The players gave it their all, leaving everything on the pitch. Every tackle, every pass, every shot was executed with the utmost precision and determination. As the final whistle approached, the tension reached its peak. Both teams had their chances, but neither could find the decisive goal. The players looked frustrated after missed opportunities, knowing how close they had come. In the end, the match ended in a stalemate, a testament to the evenly matched contest and the incredible efforts of both sides. The fans applauded the players for their hard-fought battle, even if there was no clear winner. Section 7. Defensive Masterclass Goalkeepers Steal the Show As the clock wound down, the intensity ramped up. Both teams threw everything they had at each other, but the defenses held firm. Goalkeepers Dominic Livakovic of Croatia and Rui Patricio of Portugal emerged as the heroes of the night, pulling off a series of stunning saves to keep the score level. Section 8, Final Whistle Blows, honors even in a tense standoff. The final whistle blew, signaling the end of a thrilling encounter. The score remained Croatia 1, Portugal 1. It was a match that had everything beautiful goals, near misses, moments of controversy, and world-class goalkeeping. While both teams would have been disappointed not to secure the win, a draw was probably a fair result. Section 9. What did you think? Share your thoughts. So, there you have it. A match for the ages. What was your favorite moment? Who do you think was the man of the match? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think the referee made the right call awarding Ronaldo's goal? Let us know what you think.